Hey everyone, it's Ashley Gilligan, Independent Manager with Pink Zebra, and in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you what all I put inside my Pink Zebra gift baskets for paddle parties, um, other types of events, and just giveaways in general. Alright, so I first start out with a basket. Now you can go to the thrift store, you can go to the dollar store, you can go to Walmart, you can go anywhere for gift baskets. There's always little gift baskets, but I actually found these specific ones. These are little wire baskets at the Dollar Tree. So they were only a dollar. Um, it's a pretty good size. And I'll tell you another thing that I actually use these for. I bought several of them. But I actually use them to organize vegetables in my kitchen. So these are not only good for Pink Zebra, but they're also good for home use as well. So I have a basket for, uh, you know, potatoes, onions, stuff like that. But um, this isn't a cooking video. This is a Pink Zebra video. Ashley, get it together. Doink. Okay, so this little basket I got at the Dollar Tree, like I said, and I don't remember if they had other colors or not. Black works just fine for me. So then, also at the Dollar Store, you can buy this um, shredded paper, and this is like for Easter baskets typically, but it works perfectly for the gift baskets. Um, and in this one, I have the dark pink and the light pink, and I just kind of scattered it and fluffed it up and made it look all pretty, okay? So, I'm just going to show you what I put in my gift baskets. Now, this always varies, um, but this specific gift basket is going to be for a pretty large event in my hometown that I'm doing this weekend. So, of course, we've got to have our sprinkles. Um, and I, it's bad. It sounds really bad, probably, but I always put sprinkles in here that don't sell. Like, I've had this jar for months, and it hasn't sold, but it smells amazing. It doesn't mean it's a bad scent. Um... I just can't sell it, so I might as well give it away, right? So I'm going to put this, give me some, or give me some sugar, not give me, you can't be too proper here, give me some sugar sprinkles in my basket, okay? So the second thing that I'm going to add is I am doing a bottle of um, Soaks Lotion, and this one has Alluring in it as the scent. So... I'm putting that in there. And this is kind of a bigger gift basket. Like I said, it always varies, um, but I'm doing a bigger gift basket. This is going to be a basket for purchase. So basically, um, if somebody purchases something, their name's going to be put in the drawing for this basket. So it's not just going to be a free drawing. It's going to be an incentive for making a purchase at my table. Um, so I've got my lotion there. And I'm also adding in an Essentials candle. And this one has um, beautiful bouquet. It's a... Uh, Discontinued scent, that's what I'm trying to say. Almost it expired. It's a discontinued scent. I did put the lid on top of that. Um, and then obviously you're going to need a scoop for your sprinkles, so I'm going to put that in there as well. Um, and then as a little extra bonus, I actually had an extra go card laying around out of the pack, so I'm just going to put that in here. So when I actually get a winner, I'm going to soak the go card for them in their desired scent. Um, of soaks that I have at my table. So I put that in there. Um, don't forget a business card, obviously. I'm going to put um, my business card in here. I made these on Vistaprint. If you are wondering, I get a lot of questions about my business cards. Um, I custom, you know, designed it or whatever. And then mine does have a back as well with some information on it. Um, but I have that there. And then I'm going to, for the heck of it, throw in a shop host join um, purse brochure as well. So that's my little gift basket. I plan to take some cellophane or one of those large plastic cellophane see-through bags and wrap it all up really nice and maybe put a bow on it. Um, so that is my little gift basket that I am taking this weekend. Pretty cute. Holds a lot of stuff. Um, and if you're doing a drawing, please don't feel like you have to make a basket with this much stuff in it. Um, I'm trying to think of how much this basket would be worth. Eight, eight, and eight. <coughs> this is probably $25 or $30 um, retail in products. And uh, I just made a gift basket like this because I want to give people a really good incentive. Christmas is coming up, and I'm feeling like I'm in the giving spirit. Um, so excited for Christmas. It's literally the best time of the year. So I just figured that I would do something really nice for the customers that do place an order or purchase something from my table at my booth. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new and you'd like to see future videos like this. And uh, yeah, that's my gift basket. So thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.